Welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to demonstrate how to create a JavaScript and CSS lightbox. And you can see we'll do it here simply just by initiating a button click and our lightbox appears. All basically done through Adobe XD and Export Kit using only your design. There is no external code that's required. So we're going to hop right in and take a look at our template for creating this. Now the button that we had there, you can see here we have a simple button design and if we enter it, uh, we have a couple of elements. So it's irrelevant the button design itself. What is important is the class tag that we have above it. Now this class tag, what it's doing is it's creating a div which is denoted here and it's assigning an on click event. Now the on click that we have is basically just calling a JavaScript function open light box. And we're going to take a look at that in a little bit more detail later. Now the other elements that we have is our light box container itself. And if we go inside, we have our light box content, which is just a simple image here. And this could be anything that you need. It could also be dynamic content, but we also have a background element, which is here. And the color is irrelevant. You can make it any color you'd like. What is important about the background element is that we also have another class tag which is also creating a div and also giving an on click event but this time it's calling close light box and this is also another JavaScript function which we're going to take a look at next now the other elements that we have uh, within our design and this will complete the actual light box components by adding the additional CSS as well as the custom JavaScript to uh, basically open and close the box we have it here contained within a text element but we've added a, a code tag. Now code tag will allow you to render custom CSS and JavaScript and you can see it here. Uh, let's just actually zoom in a little bit. This will allow you to render custom CSS and JavaScript within your design. Now to read this slightly better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this into Sublime. So it doesn't matter the size that you place it because only the actual text within will be rendered, not the container for the text. So if we go to Sublime and we uh, simply paste this. You can see that what we have here is we have simple styles. So we have a style for our lightbox ID. And what this is doing is this is allowing us to add properties which are not available inside XD, such as the position, uh, the Z index, etc. So we have this, uh, we have basically some properties for our lightbox as well as properties for our lightbox background. Now the other things that we have is our JavaScript functions, which is contained here. And we have our open lightbox function as as well as our closed light box function. Now our open, you can see that it's basically just looking for the two elements and it's making it visible or the display block, while our closed light box is looking for both as well and basically making them both invisible or display none. So if we go back to our XD design, um, let's just, uh, for argument's sake, change this to a blue color per se. So what this is, is our background, and this will basically be the background against the page uh, to display our light box. So let's just test this really quick. If we were to change the tag and simply remove the code, you'll see that what we have in our output is we should have all our elements rendered on the page. So I know where this is saved. Uh, well, for argument's sake, let's actually just remove the previous export that we were just testing. Let's do this again. Now you'll see that we have all the elements on the page and this is mainly because uh, we have it simply listed here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to undo our last step and now what we're going to have is we're going to have the actual uh, CSS and JavaScript rendered for our elements correctly. So let's just go ahead and export this. Now with a little bit of CSS and JavaScript, you'll see that what we have now is we have our light box pop up all created directly from Adobe XD. Now uh, we could go further and well, let's actually go a little further. Let's well, hey, you know what? You're the designer. <laughs> you can make it look as pretty as you want. It just takes a little bit of code. You can see this is not a lot of code to initiate a light box, and you can have complete interactivity from your design. 